In this video, we'll write the equation for K2CO3 plus H2O, potassium carbonate plus water. Potassium's a metal, and then carbonate, the CO3, that's a group of nonmetals. So when we have a metal and nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. With an ionic compound, we'll look up K on the periodic table. It's in group one, so it has a plus one charge. And then the CO3, that's called a polyatomic ion. It's the carbonate ion. So we'll look that up on a table of polyatomic ions, and we see that that has a two minus charge. We'll take solid potassium carbonate, put it in water, a liquid. When we do that, it'll dissociate. It'll break apart, and we'll end up with K plus, and we have two of these, so we need to put a coefficient of two in front, plus the carbonate ion, CO3 minus. Now, because we have this potassium carbonate, K2CO3, dissolved in the H2O in the water, that means that we can write AQ after each of the ions, the potassium ion and the carbonate ion. And AQ means that it's dissolved in water. Because these ions are dissolved in water, and we wrote AQ to show that, I don't need to write H2O on this side of the equation. And that makes this the equation for potassium carbonate plus water. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.